Assalamualaikum and a very good day student. Today I'm going to continue with the Microsoft Access. Please open back your patient record management systems. Previously, you already learned on how to create a database. You also learned on how to create a tables and also how to establish the relationship. But for today, I'm going to show you on how to create a form. Normally, we use form as an interface on how to on how your user can interact with the systems. So there is a few method on how you can create a forms. I'm going to I'm going to show you a very simple technique on how to use a form. So for today, I'm going to show you how to create a doctor forms. All right, in your create tab, please go to the forms wizard. Click the form wizards. SS will guide you step by step on how to and how you can create the forms. So in the table of queries, please select the table or query that you want to create a form. In this case, we're going to create a doctor forms. So please select the table doctor. This is all the available fields that you're going to insert into the forms. So you can insert one by one or you can insert the second button which is insert all the fields. Alright, then you click next buttons. So in the next step is for you to select the layouts. So what layout would you like for your forms? This is the columnar. Normally columnar will show you uh, uh, one record in a forms. Tabular is like this. You can view a few records in, in a forms. Data sheets is like a table and also it justifies. So for this form, please select columnar. Click next button to proceed to the next steps. So in this step, you have to give a name for your forms. Give a title. Do you, what title do you want for your form? In this case, let's say I just put the doctor forms. Alright, click finish button. Alright, this is your forms. Currently, I have only a two record. How I'm going to know that I'm, I have the two records? You can go to this one. This is what we call record navigation. This currently is a record number one of two. If I click the next record, it will show the next records. So the first button is the first records. This is the previous record button. This is the next, and this is the last record. This is uh, the button that you can use to add a new record. Let's say I'm going to add another record, a new record. Just simply click this new blank records and you can insert a new record. Alright, access will save the data automatically for you. So if you go back to your tables, right, the new record is already here. So the function of the table is only for you to store the records, but the form is for you to view or interact with the systems. So the user won't see this a table you only show the the form to the users so now i'm going to show you on how to customize the form so to customize the form but before that let me introduce you the interface of the form this is what we call the caption all right the caption of the form this one is the record selector if you don't want to have this record selector later on you can move it remove it this is what we call navigation button and this is a search tool, right? And this is all the fields. This is fields. And this is the caption or labels. So, to modify the form, you have to go to the design view. In order for you to go to the design view, just click this 
button you can go to design view this is the place that you can you can customize your form you can modify your form if you want to change the color if you want to change the font all is inside this design view so let's say for example let's say i want to change the 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 type of the forms you can go to format here so by the way all this object we call as a control right and every single control have their own properties meaning that you can change you can modify the control so the first control that i select is a title or the label of the form which is a doctor form if i want to change the format just go to the format you can simply change the the text here. Right, it's up to you. You can change the color if you want. Alright. And also you also can change this one. This is the header, right? The form header. You also can change the header color. Alright, so make sure you can read the form the the text sorry all right so for this one all right you can modify like this all right you can modify one by one right or you can modify all the object at one time how to do this one press and hold your cursor in the body in the details highlight like this right click in at any control you can see there is one option called it out and then select stack it. so it will automatically adjust the fill for you right but you still can adjust the size right so it's easy for you to manage or to modify at one time so let's say i just want to change this color Alright, this one also. Alright. So maybe I add, I enhance my footer so that I can add all the buttons here. For example, like add buttons, save button, uh, delete, find records and close form. This is uh, regular buttons or common button that you should have inside your forms all right so i can view back my form like this so you can go to home tab go to form view all right so let's say i want to remove this one this is what we call record selector i no need to have this record selector so what i can do go back to the design view all right point your cursor to here and right click go to the properties now you're going to go to the form properties this is what we call form properties if i click to here Meaning that this properties is for the control called Dr. ID. This is the text box. If I click here, this properties is for the Dr. ID labels. But uh, what I'm going to do is to change the property for the forms. So click here again, the forms. Okay, you can go to the formats. So this is the captions. You can change later. Alright, or maybe I can modify like this. Right, this one will be automatically adjust later on. Alright, the things that I'm going to delete is the record selector. So you can see here there is a one option called record selector. Just put no. The navigation is on the on the bottom of your form. If you don't want to have the navigation button, you also can delete it. Right? Alright, so let's say I save this form and then view back my form. So the Record set letter is already gone. Alright, go back to your forms. Alright, you can go back to design view or the shortcut way. You can just right click here, go to design view, the same way. Alright, now I'm going to put some button here. So to use the button, what you can do is uh, from the design to tabs, find one tool scroll button, click, and then draw at your form footer all right this common button will come up there is a few categories and each category have their own actions for example like record navigation we have a few actions like finance find record go to the first record and so on 
If I go to the record operations, there is a few actions. For example, like add new record, delete record, duplicate, and so on. Same goes to the form operation, report operation, application, and similar. But I'm, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to want, I'm going to have one button called add here. Meaning that when I click this button, the form will be empty so that I can enter a new record. So in this case, you have to go to the record operation category and make sure you select the action is add new record. Click next. Right. So you have an option whether you want to put a picture on the buttons or you can put text in the buttons or you can put both. To put both later on, I'm going to show you in the next lesson. But for the time being, let's say you I select the text. Here also you can change, right? You can change the the text to display on on the buttons, right? Go to the next, right? A meaningful name will help you to refer to the button later. So I suggest you, I advise you to give a name to the button because later on, if you want to edit the commands, it's easy for you to refer. So which button that you're going to modify and then click finish button all right so this is a button let's try to try the button whether it's work or not go to the form view so when i click this add record so the form will be empty then i can easily enter a new records all right go back to design view you try to add another buttons so the next button is a safe button you can go to the record operation and go to the safe record or for safe record uh, not only you can use this safe record you also can use this one okay you can go to form operation and then click this refresh form data this one is better for uh, saving the records click next all right so just name it as a safe record all right give a name for the buttons and then click finish all right so this is my button don't worry about the size later on, i'm going to show you how to make sure all the button will have the same size all right let's try to save this one all right if let's say i modify this one all right this one simply change the contact number and then click save but all right when I click save record, actually the, the, the record already saved in the system. But how I'm going to know that my record is already saved? So how are you going to give the user uh, information that you already saved the record? So what you can do is like this. When I click the save record, you should pop up a message box that notifies the user your record is already saved. So to do that, you have to modify this save record button. You have to add a few actions. To do that, you have to go back to design view. In save records button, right click. Just click the build events. Now I'm you're going to go to the macro, macro tools. This is the place for you to add a command. We already have a, we already have one command called refresh, but we have to add another command called message box. Right? Just type message box, enter. So please give a message to the user. For example, record save. Right? You can put beep. This is the computer sounds. The type here, this is the icon that you are going to appear in the buttons. So please select the appropriate type of the icon. In this case, maybe you can select information. This is the title of the message box. Just click save and close now save and try again to view the forms now click the save record all right you're going to have this uh, what we call a uh, message box so that user know that the record is already safe all right now i'm going to add another button all right this button called search button so you can go to record navigation and select file records next all right maybe i give this one the name of the button is btn find click finish all right you can test whether this one will or not just go back to the form view all right click finds all right see i have just put three 
okay because i look in the current fields right click fine so i can see this is a new one if i select current document i can i can find any keywords let's say i just put ali here fine all right the whole field okay so don't put the whole fields if you select the whole field you will set you will try to find the whole the whole text that you're going to enter but try to select any part of fields click find see the word ali is here if i click find here ali also here all right all right if i put muhammad for example or daniel click find okay i found daniel here all right so next button is delete button so again go to button here all right for delete you go to record pressure delete records next delete all right vtn delete click finish all right all right and then let's try if i want to delete the last record for example this one just please delete if i press no the action will cancel if i press yes the record is deleted all right now go back to the design view this is the last button that you're going to insert which is a close for close you just go to form operation then click close form all right i can give a name this one is it and close and click finish all right save if i click close the form will be closed so open back the forms now i try to modify the size of the field the, the button sorry all right let's say i want all the button have the same size of the add record button so what you can do right click the add record button go to the properties and then try to look at the width width is 3.36 just copy this one ctrl c and then you highlight all this button and then just paste ctrl v and the size of the height also same ctrl c highlight again all the button and then oh this one same size all right then you can adjust all right maybe the footer also i will give a same same color as a sorry not this one all right should be something like this save go to home view all right done with the form maybe you can put some accessories of the form for example like a list of record here so that i'm going to know how many record we have in the doctor form what you can do go back to design view try to look at uh, maybe you can enhance a little bit your form size try to look at the this one this is what we call list box click and then just highlight like this all right this list box widget please select this last one find a record on my form based on the value i selected in my list box not only that the form will list out all the record it will function as a searching tool also all right click finish sorry click next so just select two field is enough all right high key column so that i can see both fields next and then maybe i can give name here list of doctor sorry and then click finish all right so this is the tip okay how to move this one right if i click this one the unbound and also the label will um, move together all right so let's say i just want to move this list of the label on top of the unbound so how to do this one just click here point your cursor to this gray uh, square color here click and drag to on the top of the unbound so this is how you can move single move of the items all right just put here all right let's try to 
view the forms see if i click dr mashita the record of dr mashita will be if i put click the dr dino the record of dr dino here all right also maybe you can give a uh, give a header for the list so how to do this one just read, right click at the unbound go to the properties uh, try to look uh, look at the column heads yes change to no change to yes right save and preview back now you're going to have the the heading uh, the header all right so for this exercise please key in a few maybe you're going to have a 10 doctors right by using this but add save try try do all the exercise first and for the next week we're going to create another forms